for I've heard FM. This is uh, this is anchors away joining you here at Capalaba. Uh, I have a, a witness uh, who's going to help us out with some details uh, as soon as we can work out whether he comes from Lancashire or Yorkshire. Because as he started to speak in takes one and two, we weren't exactly sure exactly where he's coming from. Let's hear from him briefly while his chip butte goes curled. Uh, over to you. That's him there. Hello. Hello. That's uh, that's Gary. Gary, please speak. Hello. Is this thing on? My name's Gary, and uh, uh, surname, Trouble at Mill, and um, my neighbour, what lives over there, his name's Bill, and he come over to have a glass of 4 99 wines for a fine. <laughs> four ninety nine do- uh, dollars and cents, one after two other. And um, I said to him, my gum lad, I borrowed some words from the late great Freddie Truman. I said, you look edgier than a broken piss pot. And he told me that he'd rung up police day ago, yesterday, Monday, and spoke to Gwendolyn. And Gwendolyn said, well, I hear your predicament. That doesn't sound right. And um, obviously, wah, 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 wah. it was right about then that young lad stopped listening because obviously he's like a red rag to bull, to, to a bull, to a young man. Uh, same as assume, presume, as you are aware, and as you know. It's all like, it's all like just, it's like smothering man in lard, setting fire with pitchfork. <laughs> pitchfork that's got flame and torch wrapped down the end. So he said, no, none of that. I'll have none of that. There's nothing obvious about it. I just want to find out what happened. Or you're allowed to tell me that what happened is something, something I cannot tell you. Just tell me that. Well, anyway, Snark and Snip turned up to join in the conversation, uh, and that was the end of that. <laughs> this accent's really shit. <laughs> so I'll hand you back to you, Anchors Away, and you can take up story, because you've got notes, and I'll take up my chip butter. Thank you very much, Gary. That's Gary Trouble Mill uh, joining us next door. And I'm going to help him with his chip butter, because we are getting cold. Now, what we understand is this. After the conversation... He then asked, well, Cleveland Police Station, what time is it open? Yes, oh, not very much, actually. Desk hours, terrible funding up here for police, must be awful. So he has um, then asked about uh, public-facing uh, contact officers, a uh, community liaison. He met a lovely man uh, on Friday night before the football. His name is Reese and works in... Um, uh, that sort of public-facing uh, community liaison. Lovely man, lovely chap. If we um, had uh, the conversation with him, uh, no more would have been said about it, I'm sure, if uh, Reese had been uh, authorised to uh, give more information. So um, after this rather troubling phone call, uh, Bill then rang back, spoke to another officer. Uh, her name was uh, Madeline. Madeline dancing on Tuesday nights, Wednesday if uh, public holiday. That's her full surname. It's uh, three hyphens, uh, four silent cues, and uh, th- three R's backwards. Uh, yeah, anyway, Madeline, we'll call her that for short, uh, was a lovely, lovely woman and gave him uh, great information and uh, took, uh, undertook to pass on information to a team leader and that team leader was to ring him back. Now, yesterday, Bill had a rather large work day and also a road trip with uh, that one and that one. Oh, yes, yeah, so you, you, you uh, join us here during uh, aversion training. Uh, Bill has just stepped out for a bit. Uh, and I said, don't be doing that. Uh, wait till you go to the club later tonight. The odds are better. And um, so aversion training here, we are doing, oh, what Bill is doing, uh, ducks are friends, not food. And so far it's working absolutely delightfully. Now then back to the, uh, back to the butte and back to the phone call. Uh, out and about yesterday, big road trip from Palabar up to Eaton's Hill, across to Strathpine, down to Stone Gate. And then uh, all, all, all stops through to Capalabar again. It was an epic journey of uh, it was a 10 to 4, so six hours all up. Oh dear, this is lovely. Absolutely lovely. I wonder if my friend Bill Giller lawsuit knows about this. Now then, um, where were we? We were talking about uh, the uh, the phone call that came through, went through the voicemail, private number. Bill was with clients at the time. And uh, he got... Um, uh, Inspector Plotalot on the voicemail, and uh, I'm led to understand the uh, the voicemail went along these lines. Um, thank you for your feedback. This is Inspector Plotalot. Uh, your concerns are noted, 
the first phone call has been reviewed. If you would like any more information, please call 13555555555. This is Inspector Plodlot putting the phone down. And that's where we do. That's where we leave it. That's where we're up to. Uh, there will be subsequent phone calls and possibly uh, um, a shirt fronting of sorts, or at least uh, his shirt into the front of the building at Cleveland, or possibly another station. And uh, he will not uh, rest until he gets satisfaction, because at the moment he can't get no satisfaction. And let's not think too much about that. But there always is the club tonight, so who knows. This is Anchors Away, who's just changed his accent very slightly, but you didn't notice it, so I didn't point it out. Anchors Away saying, good afternoon, and more details as they come to hand. Do you have anything to say? Any anything for the tape? How about you? These guys crack me up. <laughs>